There's a famous scene in the movie Schindler's List where Oscar Schindler and the commandant, I believe, of Auschwitz, Amon Goethe, were uh, hobnobbing by the side of a train, uh, you know, in a train station, and up pulls uh, a train full of uh, concentration camp inmates. They're either headed to Auschwitz to be exterminated, or they're they look healthy in the movie, so they're uh, maybe they're being uh, sent somewhere else or just being brought in. It's a very hot day. The inmates, the people herded onto the cattle cars, locked in, are baking in the hot sun, and they're suffering from a raging, torrential thirst. Um, and Oscar Schindler, being sort of the hero of the story, uh, sees them suffering on the railroad siding and uh, asks Amon Goethe if uh, he could uh, have one of his men spray some water into the trains to alleviate the sufferings of the people on board the trains. Uh, Goethe says, yeah, sure, why not? Go ahead. If it makes you feel good, go ahead. So they do. Uh, Schindler walks along and directs an SS guard to, yeah, more water there. Give him a good blast in that train. And you see the effect of the water on the people in the trains. Uh, they just love it. Uh, well, I, I suppose one couldn't really say they love it, but um, they're desperate to have their thirst slaked and their heat cooled. They were in extreme distress prior to this happening, and um, their distress has been to a certain extent alleviated. But make, make no mistake, um, statistically speaking, these people were going to end up in the gas chambers at Auschwitz. Most people who were shipped off to Auschwitz um, did end up there, of course. And um, the interesting part of the scene is when Amon Goethe says, Oscar, really, you shouldn't do that. What you're doing is cruel, as a matter of fact. You're giving them hope. Um, it's an interesting moral challenge, uh, ethical challenge, that's placed to us. And it kind of plays with your head a little bit, and I rather suspect that scene was meant to. Who's the good guy in that scene? Let's say, though, that this isn't a case of uh, SS guards and um, people who, uh, who have a, an awakening conscience. Let's just say that uh, that's just in general. A bunch of people are heading for certain death, and here's somebody trying to alleviate their agony on the road to certain death. Is that person cruel? Is advising someone that there is hope, or at least dangling hope before the eyes of someone who is doomed, is that a cruel thing to do? Personally, I don't believe there is an answer to that question. The answer to that question is just an opinion. And it's one of those uh, interesting things. It's one of those interesting little thought experiments, I suppose, that can take even the nicest things, in this case, hope, and lead us to question it. What is hope? Um, our civilization, our whole way of thinking, seems to believe that hope is something inherently good. I think that it's not inherently good. I don't think it's inherently bad. But, as I say, too much of anything is not a good thing. I think too much hope is a bad thing. Um... Hope in the wrong circumstances is the bad thing, is a bad thing. And <clears throat> hope for something that one may not have the possibility of ever achieving or attaining is definitely uh, a bad thing. But does that make hope itself a bad thing? No, I don't think it does. I think that hope can be abused. I think that hope can be uh, 
can be a absolutely unendurable torture for some people, especially when hope is dashed. Remember the first time when you were a teenager and you had your heart broken? Wasn't that absolutely horrible? Um, didn't you sort of think that it was not possible to feel any worse than you'd felt? Wasn't it all almost this lost hope, this dashed hope, a species of horror as opposed to just disappointment? Wasn't, wasn't hope something that seemed to have betrayed you fundamentally? It's quite a thing when you think about it. And uh, I think that a lot of people who dangle hope before the eyes of other people might not necessarily be malicious, but they don't necessarily know what kind of damage that they're actually doing when they do this. Would you say that offering any hope at all is a cruel thing to do? I don't think so but I believe that it can be. Do you? Thank you.